an early morning for the fish. School education day, walleye host in Kalamazoo at 10.30. First period, Sebastian Kosa thinks his defenseman's coming for the puck, no one there. Cavens find Justin Taylor out front. They take the early lead. Less than a minute later, wings on the attack. Pass over to Darby Llewellyn. Puts Kalamazoo up two. Second period, Toledo needs an answer. Ryan Lowney throws it in from the blue line. Brett Boeing gets these kids up and going. But the K-Wings have a strong second period. Pass ahead to Mason McCarty, top shelf. They're back up in front by two. More miscommunications with Toledo. Puck stolen by Max Hummets. First shot, no. Second try, yeah, that'll do it. They outshoot the K-Wings 36-16, but ball 6-1. All right, thanks. Back out here at the Huntington Center. Kendall, they say sometimes there are days like these. <laughs> and for Toledo, today was one of those days. Not because they played badly. It just didn't go their way today. Right. The Toledo outplayed the Kalamazoo Wings throughout the entire contest today. It's just one of those things where every single unlucky thing that could have happened today happened. The Walleye led the shots against the K-Wings oh, by 20. It was 36 to 16, I believe, yep. for shots. And we, the Walleye just, they trailed by five throughout most of the contest. It was probably like midway through the second period is when they got that sixth goal in with the hat trick off of Mason McCarty for the K-Wings. Unfortunately for the Walleye, they tried their hardest. They did everything right. They had great opportunities offensively. They just couldn't get it done. Yeah, on the other side, you got a goaltender, Pavel. Chion, and he was phenomenal today, especially early in the game when it looked like Toledo was going to take advantage and get the lead. I mean, they thoroughly dominated, too, over the last two periods. A ton of shots, a ton of chances. Got, getting guys to the front of the net, it just didn't work out. It, sometimes that happens. It's a great thing about goaltending because they can change a game. They can also have one go against them. It happened today for Sebastian Kosa where nothing went right for him. But everything went right for Chion on the other side. And right, one thing to point out for Chion as well, that this is only his second start of the season, and both the starts that he's had is against the Toledo Walleye. And both of those starts, he's played phenomenally. He came into this game with a .968 save percentage, which is absolutely unreal for a goaltender at this caliber. And he did a great job, only let in one goal, had a near-perfect contest with almost 40 shots on net, which is incredible. Yeah, a heck of a day today for him and a heck of a loss for the Toledo Walleye, but they can go after redemption coming up Friday night in Kalamazoo, Michigan to start a three and three weekend with two more home games still to come this week.